Hello friends, 830 days of war between Russia and Ukraine. Directly from the ground zone in Kharsov, no changes. Zaporizhia front in Urikho sector, once again fight though continuing in Rabotin and northwest of Verbov, no changes. In Gulyaipul zone, Russian army made some gains towards Nestor Yanka after a long time. Rimivki salient, no changes, though fight is continuing in Yuruzen and Staromyorsky. In east on Marinka front, Russian army advanced marginally on the, uh, on the eastern outskirts of Krasnohorivka and also inside the city after Russian army controlled city center administration. Avdivka front, Russians had successful day. They advanced from Netai Lof towards Yasno Brodivka, almost 700 meters plus, and north of Netai Lofo, almost 100 meters, now approaching towards southeast of Karliv Reservoir. They also advanced towards Umansky, approximately 200 meters. Their advance was also noticed from Seminivka towards Novoselovka, more than 2 kilometers. On Bakhmut front, Russians made good gains towards Canal Micro District, towards north of it, almost 500 meters on a front line of 500 meters. While in Southern Canal, the battle is on, they advanced 100 meters. North of Chasivyar, Kalinina, Russians advanced and entered Chasivyar, almost 2 kilometers, and towards Krasnoe, where Russian Sorry, Ukrainians still hold some positions on the outskirts. Russians advance 800 meters towards Seversky Donetsk Canal, while north of Soledar, that is Siversk sector, and also up to Serebriansky forestry, no changes. Northeast, that is Kharkov regions, by and large, no changes. Positional battle continues from Kupians, Swato, Kremina direction. In North Kharkov, that is Slobozansky direction, heavy fight continues towards Volchansk and north of Lipsy. Ukrainians are bringing more reinforcements and reserves and they are also carrying out various counter-attacks, hindering thus Russians advance. No territorial changes. Interdiction missions, Ukrainians used HIMARS missiles to attack Belgorod region first time and also they carried out attacks on Zaporizhia power plant. Russians continue striking Ukrainian energy facilities like in Kramatorsk, Slavyansk and western Ukraine like Lviv, Vinitsa directions. Palestine, Israel, Middle East, the news from Western Bank says that by now 9000 Palestinians are detained since 8 October operations started. One of the Israeli member of parliament says that Israel runs a torture facility against, Palesti against Palestinians in Gaza and this is confirmed by those doctors who are trapped there. By the way, there are no worthy hospital as far as entire Gaza Strip is concerned to treat the wounded and dying Palestinian children and women. Houthis hit US aircraft carrier that is Dwight Eisenhower second time within 24 hours and also four other civilian ships. Biden has officially approved Ukraine to use long range weapon missiles inside Russian Federation. By the way, the Ukrainians have been already using it that we have seen. US imperialism says that U.S. has announced a comprehensive review of bilateral cooperation with Georgia, which has made a new law, which prohibits or rather demands transparency any foreign fund coming to Georgian NGOs. That's all for the day, friends. See you tomorrow. Thank you.